Hi, blessings from the Guardian family. We hope everyone is doing fantastic. For us, we are giving God thanks for all his wonderful blessings. In this episode, we are transforming our garden beds, just a couple beds at a time. Things have been pretty hectic having full-time jobs and other responsibilities, but we are pushing through with the help of God. In this bed, we are removing old callaloo plants and a tomato plant. This year has been our best tomato season as you can see from our harvest. We still have a few tomato plants that are fruiting. Thank God for that. The question is, will we be able to plant any more tomato plants and get a harvest due to the rising temperatures that we have been having? Only time will tell. And we will definitely update you on that. Using all available water to wash hand. This is rainwater collected from the previous day. Yes, we got some much needed rain. Our plants are so happy. And as you know, Jojo is such a helper and she helps out in the garden a lot. With gardening, Jojo can appreciate where her food comes from and she's willing to try foods that we have grown for ourselves. Not only that, she will know about the life cycle of plants and all the scientific aspects to it and she will learn other life skills like planning, resource management, problem solving and the whole works. Oh, not to mention improved physical health, right? <laughs> Before planting in soil, amendment is a must as the previous plants have taken all the nutrients from the bed. Plants go through a combination of factors including adequate sunlight, water and nutrients. Sunlight provides the energy for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light into food. Water is essential for transporting nutrients from the soil to the plant and for maintaining cellular structure and function. Nutrients obtained from the soil or added through fertilizers supply the necessary elements such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium that are vital for growth and development. Here we are adding an organic fertilizer, Fertiplus 433 is a well-known 100% organic, ecologic and hygienic fertilizer pellet. The organic material in this excellent all-round plant fertilizer contains mostly humic acid structures which benefit the soil in facilitating its nutrient availability. The humic acids gradually release the present minerals and therefore minerals become more available for absorption by the roots of the plant. The use of this organic fertilizer considerably reduces the need for chemical fertilizers, which has a positive effect on this biodiversity and natural environment. Also, we are adding in organic soil conditioner compost. Soil conditioner can be defined as soil amendments, which improve the soil structure, or the physical properties of the existing soil. It helps in increasing aeration, water holding capacity, oxygen penetration and nutrient absorption in soil.
To top it off, we added some garden soil that also has nutrients. Our plants will be happy for sure. Now it's time to plant. Sweet peppers are one of our favorites. We are planting many sweet pepper plants so that we can have a huge harvest, just like how we are getting a huge harvest from our hot pepper plants. Sweet peppers definitely like warmer temperatures and this is the time for them.
added in some red callaloo or amaranth, why not? Look at the sky, it's a bleak Sunday morning, June 2nd. It will be a bleak day, so we're taking this opportunity to plant. We have some cauliflower and broccoli plants too. We know that this might be wrong timing because of the weather that we're experiencing now. But let's push the envelope a bit and see what happens. The scent of rosemary is so amazing. What do you use rosemary for? Do share with us in the comments. Back to the brassicas. We might not be getting heads of cauliflowers or broccoli, but we definitely cook the greens like bush cabbage. You might know it as colored greens. And of course, to ward off pests, we are companion planting with escalion or green onions. We put a few marigold plants in the mix to ward off the pests as well. We have a full security system. <laughs> Look at the beauty of those green callaloo and pineapples. Nature does paint a beautiful picture.
creating more sweet pepper plants in containers. Have we already said that we love sweet peppers? Nothing beats homegrown, organically grown. The flavor or taste is exceptional and cannot be compared to the others. here we're just giving the pineapples some love more pineapples for Jojo she is appreciating this fruit and asks for it flowers are so breathtaking. There is indeed a God and his power is shown in nature. Just imagine from a seed to a plant that produces lots of fruits or flowers. Isn't God amazing? Thank you for hanging with us today, the start of our summer planting. See you soon. Remember to start that garden one container at a time. Bye!